Hello, I'm Ashok Venkatraman from the MLC Cancer Unit at the University of Cambridge and I'm speaking to you here from the CDD meeting in Capri in 2017. The goal of my laboratory for many years has been to intervene early in cancer with the expectation that early intervention is going to improve clinical outcomes. One of the major questions that we have been trying to answer is what predisposes individuals to cancer and what increases the risk of progression of the disease. And to do this, we have focused on inherited cancer syndromes which are caused by mutations affecting genes like the breast cancer susceptibility gene, BRCA2. We found a few years ago that inheritance of a single faulty copy of BRCA2 was enough to predispose to cancer and in fact that in many cancers arising in mouse models and in human patients with BRCA2 mutations that the second copy was not altered or defective. So this prompted us to explore what is it about cells which contain just one mutant copy of BRCA2 that predisposes them to carcinogenic change. We've recently found that BRCA2 heterozygosity cooperates with an environmental influence to trigger carcinogenesis. The environmental influence is exposure to a common class of chemicals, the aldehydes. Aldehydes are found everywhere in our environment, from car exhaust to cosmetics, and they're also made inside the cells of our own body, albeit in smaller amounts. Our recent research shows that cells containing a single defective copy of BRCA2 are extremely sensitive to an unusual effect of aldehydes. Aldehyde exposure depletes BRCA2 protein and a few other proteins encoded in the proteome. And this leads to a condition we call induced haploinsufficiency. There just isn't enough BRCA2 to do its normal job of protecting the genome during DNA replication. This in turn triggers replication stress and chromosomal instability through RNA-DNA hybrids called R-loops. So what we found is an unusual circumstance whereby an inherited gene defect in activating a single copy of BRCA2 cooperates with the aldehydes present in the environment and synthesized endogenously potentially to trigger carcinogenesis. Thank you.